I'm gonna work as a bus driver here in Brookhaven. And I should probably even go ahead and equip the taxi job. We don't really have a bus job, I think, which people can actually call me. So we'll just have to pick the taxi job for now so people can call me in case they need a pickup. And yeah, let's go ahead and try and get some customers because I really want to make some money here. And bro, I think I see a lot of people over here by the bus stop. So let's go to stop by the bus stop and turn on the blinkers. And yo, look at that. Somebody actually jumped inside of the bus. Awesome. And today I want to be driving the double deck bus. Need a ride to the park. Okay, to the park. Where is the park, dude? I have no clue where the park is, but I think it's a park ranger. Maybe he means the summer camp. So let's go drive over to the summer camp. It's probably where he's supposed to go. I don't really know, dude. A park ranger? What's his job anyways? I think like kind of like watch out for animals and stuff. I have no clue, guys. But uh, yeah, we're closing into the summer camp and yeah, there's basically no other people there. The park next to the school. What? What are you talking about? Which park? park next to the school dude does it mean the soccer field or what does it mean bro the park next to the school i don't know man oh probably means the camping site okay let's go and bring this guy over to the camping site though it probably means this uh, this is not a park is it i think it's a camping site but anyways we have our ride at our destination okay sir that's gonna be 100 dollars thank you okay thanks bro and yo somebody just crashed into my bus what is this person doing inside of the truck holy cow dude you better I don't have to drive, my man. Okay, so that was the first customer delivered of today. Oh, dude, he's doing cargo hauls. All righty, all righty. Uh, but yeah, that was the first customer of today. We just made $100, which is not that bad. And yeah, the reason I charged him that much is because I drove all the way over to the summer camp and then I had to drive back. So yeah, I kind of overcharged him, but you know what? He kind of deserved it because yeah, he wasn't really explaining where he was supposed to go. He said the park. It's easier to go to the summer camp than a camping site. And yo, I'm getting a the call. Okay, where is this call coming from? Uh, I think it's coming from the neighborhood over there. So let's gonna take our bus and do a little trip over to the caller and see who this is going to be. And I'm really wondering where this person is going to be going. I don't know. Maybe we'll get our long ride. Maybe we'll get a short ride. But at least we're getting customers. So I'm happy about that. Okay, where are you going to, sir? And bro, is he gonna sit on the edge there? That is like so dangerous. To the hospital. Okay, so this guy is going over to the hospital. He seems like he's like a doctor and and aren't doctors supposed to be a little bit more smarter? Why is this guy sitting on the edge of the bus right there? That is kind of like dangerous, my man. <laughs> Why would he do something like that? I don't know. Hopefully it won't fall off. And bro, there's people standing in the row. Yo, get out of the way. Ah, bro. Oh, man, I just crashed the bus. I was trying to swerve away from that girl right there. She was literally trying to run in front of the bus. Watch where you're going. Yeah, they should probably watch where they're going. They're crazy. Okay, here we are, sir. That's gonna be $20 for the ride, my man. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Here we go. Bro, are you joking me right now, dude? He just gave me an apple. Come on, bro. Oh, what? Dude, that's the last time I pick up a doctor, dude. They just keep handing me apples. I don't want apples. I want money, bro. Anyways, let's gonna keep on going and see if we can go to pick up some more people. We got plenty of people in the street right here. Hey, guys. Does any one of you maybe need a ride? I'm actually doing bus trips. So yeah, if you need a ride, hop on in. Hop on in. Oh, look at that, dude. I'm getting it. Another call. Okay, perfect. Let's gonna back the bus up here. Get out of the way, guys. And that girl is literally always running in front of the bus. That is like so annoying. Anyways, that's gonna head over to the call. And yeah, it's gonna come over from the cove right there. Yep. Okay, so a single person is just standing inside of there all alone. I wonder what happened. Did they get stranded? Dude, how did he end up? here, man. What, dude? <laughs> dude, are you literally on vacation here? Where am I? Uh, I don't know, bro. You're in the middle of nowhere, dude, but you need a pickup, right? You're the one who called me. Oh, man. I have to go to the airport. Okay, sure. Hop on in. Hop on in. So, let's gonna go over to the airport. I think this guy is supposed to go over to the airport. So, let's gonna bring him over to the airport. He was carrying a luggage. And why was he so confused on where he was? He literally didn't even know where he was at, dude. That's kind of crazy, dude. Do you think it his plane maybe have crashed up there or maybe it's like from a different dimension i don't know there's something crazy has happened up in the mountain right there but i don't know what but anyways let's gonna back the bus up right here and deliver this passenger okay sir that's gonna be 50 bucks thank you very much and he just paid the uh yeah he just paid the amount and somebody else just jumped inside of the bus hey sir hey sir where are you going to my man and yeah he's just jumped onto the roof where are you going to my man i need to know where you are supposed to be delivered ah he got a gun he got a gun let's go let's go let's go he literally just pulled a gun on me what dude why 
is he so crazy? I don't know. That was kind of strange. I just asked him where he was going to, and then he just pulled a gun on me. Okay, I don't really like that. But anyways, let's gonna keep on going with the bus and see if we can go to pick up some more customers because I kind of want to make some more money here in this city. And look at that. We got tons of people standing around here. Maybe we can go to pick them up and give them a ride. Hey, guys, do you maybe need a ride? I am trying to get some customers. So, yeah, I'm driving the big tour bus here in Brookhaven. Hopefully, these guys will actually jump on to the bus and give you some money. And, yo, I'm getting a call. Okay, well, forget about these guys. I am going over to the call to get some money. So, let's go ahead and head over to the caller. And, yeah, bro, it seems like he's coming from over by Eagle's View. That's kind of far away. That's kind of far away, actually. And, bro, is somebody else trying to pick up my customer? I think that Lamborghini right there, the old Lamborghini, he got the taxi job equipped, so he's trying to steal business from me. Okay, there we go. We have ended up here on Eagle's View. And, bro, is this a military dude? Where to? Yo, stop stealing customers from me, bro. I'm trying to work here. And this guy's literally saying the exact same thing I am saying. Bro, who is this guy? Why is he copying me? Those are also mine. No, uh, I was first, dude. I was literally first on starting this business right here. Nah, I was here first. Bro, what is going on here? I need to go to Lake now. Okay, hop in. Hop on in, bro. Hop on to the double decker. There we go. Yeah, bro. I'm getting all the customers. Bye. Bye, old Lamborghini. Bro, he's so poor he couldn't even afford a new one. Ha ha, bye. Oh, man. So people are literally trying to steal business away from me here in Brookhaven. And, bro, he was not even driving a legit taxi business. Everybody, is he calling me now? Oh, dude, I think he got, like, really, really mad. But this guy wanted to go over to the lake. So, yeah, we're gonna bring him over to the lake. And we just got his customer. That's really nice. Let's gonna take our right turn right here and bring him right over to the lake. So, I think this is gonna be good enough for him. Okay, sir, that's gonna be $100 for the ride, my man. Take the sniper! Uh, am I legit getting a sniper right now? Holy cow, why did I get a sniper, bro? But I guess the sniper is worth a whole lot more than $100. So, I guess I'll take it and then I can sell it over at a gun shop or something like that for maybe like $1,000, dude, because uh, weapons are kind of like expensive, no? I think so. Anyways, let's go ahead over to this call right here and somebody's standing on the sidewalk waiting for a call. So, yeah, let's go and park up right here. There we go. Hello there. How's it going? How's it going? Okay, so the caller just jumped inside of the bus. Okay, sir, where are you going to? I don't really know where this guy is going to. He's just texting on his phone, so I guess I'll just have to drive uh, up towards some neighborhoods right here and hopefully he will jump off because I have basically no clue where this guy is going. Are you jumping off here, my man? Is this good enough for you or are you going to continue on with the ride? I don't know, dude. Let's just go ahead and try to collect money. Okay, $50, my man. And boom, he just gave me cash. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. And yo, I'm getting another call. Okay, let's go ahead and head over to the caller. And I think this is going to be the last call of today because I've been super, super busy today. And no, dude, there's my competition again. He's driving that Lamborghini over to my call. Uh-oh, bro. Uh-oh. We should probably go ahead and put the speed up a little bit so we get there first. So let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get over to the call first, dude. Perfect. Okay, let's go speed it up. Go, 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 go. And dude, I'm almost speeding out, dude. Uh, driving really fast with the bus is probably not the best idea, but yeah, it's working though. And boom, we made it over to the caller. And yeah, his car definitely broke down. Okay, where are you going to, sir? Let's gonna bring you over to your destination. To the town hall. Okay, let's gonna bring you over to the town hall. And bro, is this the mayor? I think that actually might be the mayor of Brookhaven. Okay, so his fancy car broke down and we gotta bring him over to the town hall. Let's gonna do it in super speed. And yo, bro, I literally just gapped that entire jump. Okay, well, let's go ahead and bring him over here. And bro, I just crashed. Okay, how much should we charge for this ride? Maybe like 300 bucks. Okay, sir, that's gonna be $300. And he just paid me the amount. Perfect. And yeah, that was a really successful day as a bus driver here in Brookhaven. And that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.